especially in times of crisis, we're all dependent on ensuring that basic supplies are available to the population. And medicines, protective equipment and other necessary goods have to reach hospitals, doctors' practices and nursing homes. The outbreak of coronavirus has a major impact on European transport. The measures introduced to slow down the spread of the virus have also slowed down and sometimes paralyzed transport. This delays the delivery of goods and can cause shortages. The priority is now to ensure that the main axes of our traffic in the European Union are unblocked. Today we issue guidelines on the green lanes to member states. I set out four objectives to make real progress on Europe's roads. First, crossing the border on a green lane should take maximum 15 minutes. This weekend we had some crossing points with more than 40 kilometers of queues. This is a waiting time of up to 18 hours. This has to stop. Second, the green lanes should be open to vehicles carrying any type of goods. Our supply chains in Europe are closely integrated. We need to ensure the free circulation of all goods. Third, national governments should suspend restrictions, for instance, bans to drive at weekends or at night. This is an exceptional situation. We need to be flexible. And fourth, we need to reduce the paperwork for transport workers of all nationalities to enable them to cross borders more rapidly. Health checks at the border can be useful complementary measures against the virus, but they must be organized in such a way that the free movement of goods does not come to a standstill. The fight against the virus will take a long time. The strength and the means to win that fight will come from our great single market. And that is why we must protect it. That is why I and my team are working for it every single day.